In 1984, this Moroccan athlete became the first Muslim, Arab and African woman to win an Olympic gold medal. It was a moment of personal glory and an example of how sports can mean so much more than an individual's result. I wanted all these women to learn about all these values that sports gives you. Confidence, higher self-esteem, challenge, determination, passion. When you love something, when you like something, you don't count. You just go for it, eyes closed, and success can belong to you. I know what it's like to be stepped on. This is who I am. I'm an Aborigine and I'm proud of it. Stereotypes so are meant to be broken, so let's break them all down. Noel El Mutawakil was born in Casablanca in Morocco in 1962. While some girls from a background like hers may have been discouraged from taking up sport, for Noel, it ran in the blood. Her father was a former judoka, her mother played volleyball, and her siblings were all keen sportsmen and women. And Noel followed family tradition, taking up athletics. While she started out as a sprinter, El Mutawakil began to focus on the 400-meter hurdles, an event which women only began running in in the early 80s. The upcoming Los Angeles Games would be the first time a female Olympic champion would be crowned in the event, and Noelle's talents brought an offer of an athletic scholarship from America. Uh, when this uh, professor came to speak to my dad, he said, I think your daughter is ready to go and study in the States. And he said, this is a chance of her life. Please, I'm begging you, let her go to the States. I finally go to the airport with my father and my family. And, uh, oof. My father died one week later. Sorry. My father wants me to win the, that gold medal because this is the last thing he told me when he took me to the airport. He said, go to the States and bring the gold. The 1984 Olympics saw a greater media and commercial focus than previous games, and with her father's passing driving her, Noelle was set to step into the spotlight for Morocco. I was the only female in our national team. No female coach, no female journalist, no female athlete. I was the only one, but everyone in the team was like uh, my family. They all, all looked up to me. They all were so proud of me. They were all uh, helping me and uh, reassuring me that uh, maybe I could win. So I entered the Coliseum and I see all this huge crowd. So that can paralyze you. For me, I said, this is the moment where you need to be really strong. On your marks, um, get set. And that go for me was like a infusé. I just went, boom. I said, I'm not going to wait for anyone. This is my moment. This is my time to shine. So I just went straight to those hurdles. I was jumping, going fast and faster and faster. During all that victory lap, I had uh, tears of joy, tears of sadness because my father has passed away. Tears of all these women who would want to discover a new world for them. Women who, who never knew anything about the sport. And I said, this is the moment I step in on a, on a historic situation because nobody has done so in the past. And if I have I've done it, many, many million women will do it in, from Africa and from Arab states. Every hurdle I jumped, for me, it was a problem solved for women. As the inaugural Olympic women's 400-meter hurdles champion, Noelle's surprise win made her an instant star. And nowhere more than her homeland, where King Hassan II declared that all girls born on the day of her victory should be named in her honor. There was the Noelle before the race and Noelle after the race. And from that moment, my entire life totally changed. 
Though injuries meant that she was never able to defend her Olympic title, El Mutawakil used her platform to promote sport as a force for good. She has worked with the Moroccan government, become an IOC vice president, and started a fun run in her native Casablanca, which blossomed into the biggest female mass participation sporting event in the Muslim world. Sport is very positive, and I speak about its power each and every day. Noel's 1984 win was much more than a personal victory. As the first Muslim, African and Arab woman to win an Olympic gold medal, her achievements opened the world's eyes to a stream of talents that is now a flood. It's no longer uh, a unique event because we could see more and more uh, Arabic, African and Muslim uh, young athletes coming from Algeria, from Tunisia, from Morocco, from Egypt, and you name it, from Bahrain, from Saudi Arabia, from Qatar. That moment opened up the door to so many, uh, many young girls. From that stunning moment in 1984 until now, Noel Al-Mushwakil is a true trailblazer whose example has made a difference to so many.